We are back now with Dr. Jen, taking a look at a new study that shows preliminary results of male birth control gel could be an effective, reversible alternative to vasectomy. Please explain well, this Well, you one. hit a lot of those really important terms. Effective and reversible form of, of birth control, this time targeting or being offered to men. Part of the reason why we haven't seen good research and development for men is has to do with the physiology of how sperm is actually produced constantly. So it actually takes a long lead time to get complete sperm suppression so that that birth control method could be considered effective. That's really the key. You don't have to wipe out every single sperm for it to be considered effective. You need to kind of reduce it to a, a number of a million. That's the measurement number that matters. But this data, which was just presented at the endocrine conference, the, the national one, um, really interesting using a progestin and a testosterone in a gel that's applied basically to the shoulder every single day found a, about 80% efficacy over by 12 weeks period of time. So again, that's a, that's a long amount of time before you have effective birth control. The, the verdict will still be out whether this could be accepted in daily use. But again, interesting research, not ready yet, but I think anytime you put more options to reproductive health and well-being for mm -hmm. women and men, that's a good thing. But gel? That's on your right. shoulder? Sorry, I, just, I know. And 80% doesn't seem like a high enough number in my mind. Well, again, you don't have to draw. <laughs> Correct. Accidents I mean, you, you, would like, you would like it to be 100%, but there's no such thing. Um, so we're going to have to stay on this in terms of the clinical trials. But gel, better than an injection. Yeah. Well, most certainly. Right. All right, Doc, thank you. We're back in a moment. Stay with us.